What's up YouTube? Jeff back again today with another exciting Samsung video for you guys. Today we're talking about some more features that are hidden inside the One UI 6.1.1 update for the Galaxy S series. We already ran down a full review of the most important features. If you guys want to check out that, it'll be below. But today we have some new hidden features inside of One Samsung secret menus, the Gallery Labs option. Before we get started, I do want to thank my four-year-old son Jonathan. We got the T-Rex and the horse hanging out. Always appreciate him giving us some cool animals or dinos for the video. If you guys haven't yet, make sure you check out our website, samiguru.com. We're over there covering the latest Samsung news, tips, tricks, tutorials, and reviews. Uh, we cover all the breaking news really on the website first because it's easier to write it up than to make a video. And then I usually make a detailed video talking to you guys about it later. But definitely make sure you visit the website every day and bookmark it. We're putting up 9 to 10 pieces of content a day with great Samsung news. You can also get in our mystery box program. You get a free case, cleaning kit, desktop phone stand. When you pre-order the Galaxy S25, S25 Plus, or S25 Ultra, put in your phone number and or your email right there, and uh, you'll be good to go. You'll get a link to order the phone on launch day, which goes directly to Samsung's site. Use our affiliate link. We cover shipping. We cover all the products and everything. Check it out if you're interested in the pinned comment and description. So today we're talking Gallery Labs. So for you guys who don't know, uh, Samsung has a secret menu hidden inside of the Gallery menu called Gallery Labs. And so with this works, if you go to the main Gallery page, down here with the little hamburger menu, you'll see settings here. And if you scroll down to where it says about gallery, if you repeatedly tap on this over and over again, right here, the version number, right below where it says gallery, you'll get something that says you've enabled gallery labs. And uh, if you go down, you'll then see gallery labs right there. In fact, let me quick wipe down these uh, fingerprints on the oleophobic coating for the S24 Ultra. Very frustrating to me. Gallery labs right here. They've added some new features and also removed some features. I'll actually slide in my other Galaxy uh, S24 Ultra here so I can show you guys a quick comparison. So this is running One UI 6.1.1. Over here, I have a Galaxy S24 Ultra that is still running One UI 6.1 just so we can do a quick and easy comparison. So if I go into gallery over here and uh, we go back, go to the menu, go to settings, down here, go to gallery labs, you'll see that there's some definite changes here between these two devices running different software. First of all, we have the show sticky date and data and location. This option here is new on this version of Gallery Labs. More options in the viewer bottom. This is actually just a option that has been renamed. So this was not very clear to people what it did. I mean, I did explain what this did in a previous video that I made, but I think a lot of people didn't quite understand what this option does. Uh, and so to make it very clear what this option does, they renamed it a little bit. I'm also not really sure why this particular S24 Ultra, let's see here, the brightness on this one, I need to, oh, extra brightness, that's why. We need the extra brightness menu, there we go. Now, it looks a little bit better. So I was wondering why one of them was a little dimmer than the other. So this one has been renamed to hamburger menu in the viewer bottom right there. That basically just makes sure that if this is turned on, it moves the hamburger menu for the settings inside Gallery Labs to the bottom. It's actually on by default to the top. And I'll show you guys over here, if you go back in each of these devices, you see right here how you have up here these uh, three dots menu there. You can kind of see that. And if you tap on a particular item here, you'll notice this one has it in the bottom. And if I tap on a particular item here, this one has the three dots menu in the top. So it's talking about that menu where you have it for a particular photo or video. It just makes it easier to reach it with one hand. So I do recommend turning that on. It's actually off by default, so you might want to switch that one on. Um, next, return to viewer while exiting. This has been removed from the new Gallery Labs. It was a completely useless feature, and we talked about that in a previous video when it was originally introduced, so they got rid of it. Tag view in search v2. Tag in search first page is moved to recommendations. This is just a UI-based thing. It's still there in both versions hasn't been removed. I don't think a lot of people care about this too much, but basically inside of your recommendations tab, you now will be able to search by tags. I don't even know a lot of people who add tags outside of creators. I do it because I, if I'm making a camera review for a phone, I'll add tags to it to say S24 Ultra camera review, but I don't know a lot of regular people who use it. Let me know if you guys do though. I'd be interested. The remote gallery has been removed on One UI 6.1.1. It's really a shame Samsung removed this. This was a feature that was supposed to allow you to access an album on your phone from other Galaxy devices like your tablet, your Galaxy Book. I would have loved using this on my Book 4 Edge, but it is now gone. 
Now there's a bunch of other options down here for older versions which you can play with and I highly recommend some of these. I've made full videos on all of them before detailing what they do. I'll drop a link below if you want to check out those older videos. But we do have three new options here. You've got the go to studio button here um, which you can toggle on or off uh, which will show you that studio button that you have there at the bottom. Um, we saw here go to studio. You can now turn this off if you don't want it there at the bottom. I don't know why you wouldn't. I mean, I'm just leaving it on, but you have the option now to turn this off. Slideshow with selected items. You can now select particular items that you want to use to create a slideshow. And so this is a pretty cool feature now. If you go back in here and select, let's say we go to my recents or my camera here, and I select just the first five photos, I can now go to more and start slideshow. It's going to create a slideshow with some nice music. You guys can hear it there. And uh, if you toggle on the option to continuously repeat it, it will automatically replay the slideshow uh, at the very end. So this is a cool feature. We've always had the option to start a slideshow, like if you're inside of a particular album, like if you go here, you can always go down and start a slideshow from the three dots menu if you're on that main album view. But now you have the ability to select multiple photos in that particular one. Previously, you had to like start a slideshow and it would just start showing all the photos that were in an album. Now you can particularly select which ones you want and which ones you don't. Don't. So that's a nice little feature that they've added with One UI 6.1.1 that wasn't there before. So overall, some pretty nice little changes here. It is a shame that they've completely removed the remote gallery option. Show sticky data and location. Uh, this is something you might want to turn on or off depending if you want that information on your photos. If you share them with people you don't know a lot, which a lot of people don't do that, but if you share them on social media with people that aren't your family or friends, you might want to switch this off if it's a phone you're going to use that for. But the rest of them are just, you know, I definitely recommend turning this one on for one-handed use. And I think these are really nice quality of life enhancements. Would love to see them bring this one back as well. Anyway, wanted to show you guys these new features inside Gallery Labs. Check them out. Let me know what you guys think if you're going to use any of these features. As I find more hidden features with One UI 6.1.1, as we continue playing with it, I'll definitely let you guys know. If you guys find something, go ahead and hit me up. You can email me, jeff at sammyguru.com. We're over on X. Check out the website. Get in the Mystery Box program, as I said, right there. Appreciate you guys checking out this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.